Tumen Bay, from Panoply and the BBC. Previously on Tumen Bay. I'm sorry to have to tell you, your mother is dead. Dead? I have been summoned. I have to go back to Tumen Bay. You were to come with me. It is my duty to keep my wife from harm. A duty in which you have faith. There were papers, ancient relics in her possession that she kept hidden, undeclared, that have gone missing. And may I ask something? Go on. The box in the safe. That, my dear girl, is my insurance. Think of it as our future. What's going to happen to us? They'll sell us, if we're lucky. You may have heard rumors about Lord Red, Maya's envoy. He demanded something, a box, a, a certain box. No one knew what he was talking about, but I think I do. The reliquary. Where is it? Uh, I gave it to her. I trusted her and she betrayed me. And what is in it? <laughs> the scrolls, of course. Why are they so important? I've been waiting so long for you to do that. Mm. Was it worth the wait? Oh, yes. 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 Daniel? General. I am sorry to disturb you. Not at all. I have some highly interesting information I wanted to tell you. We're sort of like a family, aren't we? I had a wife and two children. Did they die? Why would you ask that? Well, mostly everyone dies. We are not going to die. We are going to live. You're listening to Season 1, Episode 7 of Tumen Bay. General, I hardly know what to say. My lord, it is your triumph, as is the head of Maya on the Herald's Lance. Yes, but even so, she's still very desirable. <laughs> Shall we show her to your people? Shall we let them cheer their great leader? Very well, General Kolan, let us do so. <laughs> the army will advance! advance! Come, Madhu, right beside me. The triumph is yours, Majesty. It's you the people want to see. You are their Sultan and you have saved them. Yes. And when we are done, have the bitch's head sent to my room. Waking life. Sleeping life. Ah! Your Majesty, what has happened? Who was it? What? Someone has come into my bedchamber. No, no, Your Majesty, I swear. This dagger! Who put it there? I, I don't know. I, I was on duty all night. No, no one passed me. You were sleeping? No, I, I swear, my So how did it get in? I... If they wanted to kill me, they could have. But they didn't. It's a message. Shall I call the guard, Majesty? What? Shall I call the guard? Yes, of course. Yes. Guard! Guard! There are spies everywhere. They seep through the walls. Majesty? I'm starting to doubt the very ground that I walk on. Who can I trust anymore? Who can I trust? Uh, you can trust me, Majesty. I, I have served you all my life and... and I... Yes. No one must know about this. Of course, Your Majesty. I, I will tell no one. No, you won't. At your service, Majesty. This fellow. Take him away. What? Gag him. Sew up his lips. Take him to the deepest dungeon. Let no, no one speak with him. No. Pour molten metal in his ears. Put out his eyes. No, Let him be silent. Please. Please. You want to see? How many more betrayals? How many more? Uh, 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 A city above. No. A city below. What is it, my sweet? Oh, another dream. Hmm? Another dream. It's nothing. Just mist in the sun, my little frog. There's no sun here under the city, mother. And no mist. 
And my dreams are real, you know that. They are dreams. You will grow out of them, I promise. But I won't. I have dreamt that too. Sleep now. Soon everything will be good and all manner of things will be good. Nothing will be good. And there will be all manner of horrors. I have seen it. I must tell the Sultan. Are you mad, my dear sweet child? We cannot leave here, we are safe. He will come. He will take me. What are you talking about? The Sultan will come here? Someone else will come, and he will take me. What? Who? The man who murdered Papa. He will come. He will take me. <laughs> Kulan. No, no. Three dreams. Connected, but how? <sighs> Go away, damn you! What is it? Uh, Excellency, I am to give you this. What? Uh, a coin, sir. The one who brought it said you would know. Yes. Yes, I know. Yes. I have meetings today. The Sultan, he needs reassurance. He needs my reassurance. The envoy, what the hell is he up to? Important. But this is more important. Tuman Bay. Episode 7, A Tale of Two Cities, by Mike Walker. Uh, Gregor! Coffee? It is the finest... Enough of your coffee. You sent your man with my coin. I did. Well, where is the slave girl? Well, it isn't that. She isn't here. Well, why else have you called me here? Because the slut came for her baby and you gave it to her? Is that it? Do you think I would have called you if that had been so? But she came here and left the baby? I don't believe you. I told you what I would do to the child if you lied to me. Come with me. Come with me. Sabira is the nurse. She has a message for you. Well, girl. What's the matter with her? She doesn't speak your language. Sabira, Spirit. Jins. Spirits. What's she talking about? She says the spirit gave her a message. What message? She says you are to bring the baby to the city of the dead. Mm. Nonsense. What city of the dead? Down uh, people, all dead peoples in down. These are old wives' tales. They things to scare children and maids. There's nothing in the catacombs except a few starving prisoners scrabbling in the dark. Nevertheless, Your Excellency, that's where you are to take her child. Why should I? Mama, wait. You do? She gives what you want. Sabira tells me they come up in the darkness and forage for food. They use the water and sewage systems and the old caves. She says all the servants know of it and many leave scraps out so their houses aren't bothered. I don't think they come up here though. Footholds, handholds. I can hear water down there. And maybe. What are you doing? Have you ever been down? Of course not. It's crazy. It's dangerous down there. Stop. Come, come back. Dark. Very dark. There are tunnels that go nowhere, they say, and pits and fire. I don't know, but it's madness to go down alone without a light. They say they feed off bodies, so Sabira says. And did she say, your Sabira, if there's a better way in, a safer way? She said there was, by the old temple. Then that's where we're going. 
Look, do you think you should? It's a baby. It's not safe for her. She's safe here. You think I care about the baby? What, 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 what? Please! <laughs> Will you not eat, Majesty? These are the same dates that poisoned my nephew. How can I trust them? How can I trust any of you? But, Majesty, I have tasted these dates. If the food were poisoned, I would die. He speaks the truth, sire. So you say, Doctor. But what if it were a poison that took an hour, a day to act? What then? Your Majesty, you are out of sorts. I can assure you that I am not. I am thinking clearly for once. Trust. <laughs> what is trust? Can I trust any one of you? Yes. I have enemies all around me. The hand that offers dates may as well proffer a dagger. Your Majesty, you have been under a great strain of late. It's true. The threat of war, the, the burden that I have to carry is great. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, these petals, taken from a rose grown only in the snowy mountains, mm. smell them. They will calm... Go! <laughs> Get out! All of you! Go! <laughs> may I enter, sire, or do you wish to be alone? I wish to be safe, General. Yes, enter. These fools. I can't have them around me anymore. I don't know who to trust. I just ate the date without even thinking. Well, they look very good, sire. But what if they are poisoned? One moment of inattention. May I? Then we are both dead men. <laughs> uh, but maybe you know which dates are poisoned and which are not. If you can tell dates apart, you are a shrewder judge than I, Majesty. But may we get to business and leave our digestions to God? Very well, General. What news? Commander Wolf's scouts inform him that Meyer's forces have crossed the borders into the Emerald Province. So you say? He says so, and I trust him. I believe we need to hit her now, and hit her hard. I need to get back to the army, sire. I don't know. Perhaps we should concentrate on finding this reliquary and handing it over to give us time. We don't need time. She does. She has spies in the city. She'll know all we do. They've already killed my chief wife. We could all be murdered in our beds. If her spies killed Shajar, then they already have the reliquary. What do you mean? It was in her possession. How can you know that? I am your general. It is my business to know these things. Perhaps you know too much, General. I know what I must to defend Tuman Bay and your throne. Does His Majesty's throne need defending? Yes. Where is your brother, General? We need to double the guards, treble them. Kadali, where were you? Awaiting your summons, His Majesty. As for Gregor, I do not know. We were meant to meet this morning to discuss certain matters of security. Perhaps he is searching for spies. Not that he's had much success. And the envoy? If Andy Red is waiting outside, shall I call him? We have nothing to offer until we find what he seeks. Majesty, this is inadvisable. This reliquary, did anyone ever go to war for a box? Wars are fought for territory and control. She's trying to divide and confuse. She wants to plant fear and mistrust to weaken our resolve. She'll keep offering us this and that to ensure we stay behind the walls of Tuman Bay looking inwards whilst her forces advance. That is one possible course of action, but there are others. I am not a distinguished military man like you, General, but it seems to me that this rush to arms betrays our fear of Maya. Let her come to us. We are not afraid of her. To respond first shows weakness. To stand as a city that has stood invulnerable for thousands of years, that shows our power. We'll root out her spies, and then we will see. Cut off her damned head and put it on a lance, and then we'll see. Give me permission to go back to my army. Your army? No, no. I want to keep you close, where I can see you. Tell the envoy to come back tomorrow morning. Yes, yes. And find the reliquary. And send me the physician. That won't burn for long. And the nights are freezing out here. Would you rather be back in your cage? Wood is hard to find in a desert. Like the 
first light of dawn. On the horizon, I see it. Is that it? Is that the city? Are those the lights of Tumon Bay? How should I know? You ask too many questions. Maybe you need a good slapping. Easy, easy. Nera, Nera, Nera! Shh! We are a family. You have to stop behaving like you're a king or something. I was a king once. I know you told us, and now you're not. Oh. Oh. It is to Monday. We'll be at the gates tomorrow. And then? And then we'll find your family. It's what you want, isn't it? I suppose I... Yes, of course it is. What about me? You can take your dogs and join a circus or something. You'll be fine. What about you? I have some business to settle. The man who betrayed you... He was from Tumon Bay, wasn't he? He killed my people and took our land. Above all things on this earth, I want to look into his eyes as I push the point of a sword into his throat. And then? Then... Then... I don't know. Go, go. Go hunt and kill. Be free. Go! Go! Why did you do that? They were your dogs. They wouldn't be happy in the circus. Now they'll be their own masters and have their own way. We could have sold them, boy. They were not for sale. Hmm. That fire won't last much longer. Better wrap up and get some sleep and tomorrow we'll see about Tumembe. I'm seeking solitude at the Temple of Solace, my son. You don't look as if you need arms or food. How do you know what I look like? You've no eyes. <laughs> there are more ways of seeing than with those lumps of jelly, sir. I listen. I, I feel the air. I smell. Yes, you do. I have served here for many years. There's not much I haven't seen. So what else do you see? A fine man in the pomp of his years. Clever. Powerful. With a child. Hmm. A man who has lost something valuable. It seems to me, old man, that you know a sight too much for your own good. All I know, sir, is what you tell me yourself. And what you have lost, what weaves a thread of fear through the power and privilege you carry with you, that is something else from long ago. Enough of this. Tell me something useful. Arms for the temple. Gold, then. I expect good value for my money. I want to get into the Undercity. <laughs> no, sir, you do not. Can you smell the steel? You've wasted enough of my time. Very well, sir. Go into the temple. Go to the winding stair. At the foot of the steps is a wooden door set into the stone. This key will open it. You will see that the stairs wind down as well as up. Leave the key in the lock and shut the trap behind you. I'll need the key to get out again. <laughs> you won't get out. Not on your own. Hello? Hello? <laughs> you! Stop! Who comes? 
I mean you no harm. What harm? Who could harm us? I'm looking for someone. If you help me, there will be no trouble. A slave girl. Sarah. Her name is Sarah. I have her child here. Her name is Sarah. Why do you look where you cannot see? She... She's under my protection. <laughs> the baby. Give us the child. Leave her alone. Leave her. Wait! The child! Give her back! She's mine! Give her back! I need her! Come back! Get away! Get away! Where are you? Show yourselves. I am the master of the palace guard. Not down here. I'll have you... I'll have you arrested. And most of us have been arrested already. And we know who you are, Gregor, son of no man. Welcome to the grave. Get back. I'm warning you. Your warning days are over. You must answer the charges. What are you talking about? There must be charges to answer. You can't charge me. I am master of the Sultan's guard. Angur, will you be the judge? Yes, it will be my honor. And you? I am the Sultan. You can judge, and I will pass sentence. This is madness. Who are you people? You have no right. I know nothing about any crimes. Who are you to try me? Who will lay the charges? I will. Who are you? A free man of the underworld like you. What are the charges? That you, Gregor Noman, murdered the good man who took you into his house and educated you and gave you a future. What? Who? Do you deny it? I... He, he was... He beat us. He was cruel. Evil. I had no choice. That I... as master of the palace guard, you have caused many to die and languish in prison for no reason other than to instill fear. Not languish. This is policy for the greater good. There are enemies everywhere. If you show weakness, anarchy rules. There must be control. And, and... what about poor Basim? Basim? Who is Basim? An officer of the palace guard. A good soldier, loyal to his masters. He was strangled in the dungeons. Well, he must have done something, otherwise he wouldn't have been in a dungeon. The prisoner should remember where he stands at this moment. He is not helping his case. Damn my case. Damn you too. Basim? Basim? Who the hell is Basim? One mistake he made. He allowed an envoy into the presence of the Sultan without a search. Oh, that one? Yeah. You cannot keep discipline unless people fear the consequences of their actions. The envoy carried a severed head. He threw it in front of the Sultan. Someone had to pay. He failed to protect the Sultan. As you failed to protect the Sultan's wife. <laughs> Next charge. That you, Gregor, did lay waste a nation. You gave your word to a king and you broke it. You took his country you enslaved his people. That's diplomacy. I was just doing my job. I was serving my sultan. Down here you answer to a different master. Who are you? The dregs and drainings of Tuman Bay. Do your worst, I wouldn't waste my spit on you. You have no more to say. <sighs> then you have sentenced yourself to the worst that we can do. The walls go on forever. And the towers really do touch the clouds. My father used to say this was the greatest city in the world. It must be. There's no end to it. And all these people, what do they want? They want to make a living just like everyone else. We can eat when we get to my father's house. We'll eat like kings and queens. Right now, I'd settle for breakfast. Over there. 
Yes, my lady. Uh, two kofta, please, and a uh, skin of water. With pine nuts? A wise choice. And the finest water this side of... Yeah, after it's passed through a camel. <laughs> For a man with such a sweet young wife, you've a sour nature, my friend. Where do we get in? Mm. Is everything this good in Tumumbai? Mumbai? There's a gate there. People are going through that way. All the gates that big in Tumumbai. Ow! All the boots that heavy in Tumumbai. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. <laughs> Come on, we're almost home. You're almost home. My home is your home. I know my father will welcome you both. Step out of the line. No papers, no entry. What's up, papers? Some kind of pass or permission to show you have business in a place. But we don't. I'll talk to them. It'll be alright. Papers? We're together. My father lives in the city. Uh, papers? He's a merchant by the name of Ibn Bey. He'll pay whatever is needed. If we could only go through. There are no papers. You can't go through. Next, next. Sir, papers. Sir. How many of you are? Four of us. Sir. Four of you. I was kidnapped. Like Please, that. my father is a merchant. That Please. I'm. My... Leave it. Don't make a fuss. Don't be noticed. So close. We're so close. It's not fair. There must be other ways in. We'll wait. We'll think of something. Ah, it can be hard, eh? What? To come all this way to the greatest city in the world and then to find... Puff! <laughs> there is no way in. Used to be easy. You could just walk through, as they say. Used to be. There's been some, well, how would you say, uh, problems, it seems. Out on the far borders, rumors of war, so everything's been tightened up. Terrible for trade, but there you are, as they say. And here we are. As they say. Indeed they do, my pretty boy. Indeed they do. Terrible times for us merchants, like your father. I heard you say he was in business. Oh yes, perhaps you know him. What's his name? Ibn of the house of Abi Talib. Ibn, Ibn. He's very well respected. And he trades in... Slaves. I'm sure we've met the name, as it were. And these are your followers? We're friends. But we have no papers and we need to get in. Well, there's always a way, as you might put it. We have money. No, 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 no. We're not interested in your money, my dear girl. What would you want? We'll be happy to help. Why? You can provide me with a service. What kind of service? We are happy to help people who can help us. Really. There's no catch. Look, you talk it over. As they say. As they do. As they do. Now wait. Take it, or as you could say, leave it. There's my tent. I'll be there if I can be of service. <laughs> can we trust him? No. We still need to get into the city. I'll talk to him. Are you sure? I'm sure of nothing, except that we can wait forever outside the gate and never get in, and two of us, at least, want to get in very much. Wait here. Can we trust him? I trust him. We've been through a lot together. He wants to kill a man. Maybe he won't care how many other people he hurts to do that. People are like that when they want something a lot. What do you want? I want to fly. <laughs> Nobody flies. Well, that's what I want. All right. I worked it out. Come on. What did he want? We are pledged to do certain tasks for him once we are in the city. For three moons. And when that time has passed, our obligation will be paid. And if we don't do what he asks? We will. They will make sure of it. We are not the only people they have working for them. Don't worry. Come. Very good. We can say you two are brother and sister. Now I just need to... Good, that's done. And that... Here you are. Is this it? Oh, they work every time. Look through it. Be familiar, huh? As they say. Oh, 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 oh. oh very good, sir. You are a man who appreciates the nature of the jest. 
Now, you two, come with me. The money? Of course. Wait, I don't understand. What's... You don't need to. <laughs> as long as you can lie on your back with your legs open, you'll make a fine show. You and your little brother. No, you... No. You can't... You can no. do this to us! I'll tell you once, bitch. You talk too much. From that first moment, wine, 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 ever since we came ashore. You and the boy. I don't need you. I don't want the family. Get it. Now I'm rid of you both. What has he done? He sold you. Don't worry. Everyone's a slave in Tumen Bay. Who knows where you might end up? I hope you die. I hate you. I hate you. Be still, or I'll bind you. Is everything satisfactory? Perfectly. Let us shake hands on it as we do in my country. <laughs> oh, my friend. <laughs> oh, 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 you're hurting me. <laughs> what have you done? Killed him. You didn't think I'd sell you? Now, shall we test these papers before his friends come back? As they say. His Majesty will see you now. Your Majesty, His Excellency Effendi Red. Lord Red, please stand here. Do we really have time for these formal dances? Perhaps formality has a purpose. It ensures at least a measure of respect. Majesty, I made it plain to your man, Gregor. Where is he, by the way? Well, he obviously didn't pass the message on. I must be my own messenger, it seems. Maya has made it known that with each day that passes, her terms will become less generous. But she has decided to be merciful. Oh! Oh! Should I fall to my knees? Should I kiss her ass now? Please tell me, what form does this mercy take? Give me the reliquary now. Recognize Maya's legitimate right to govern Amber Province and lead her people, and she will withdraw. This is a clear sign, Majesty, that she's running scared. She's lost her nerve. This is all she has ever wanted. You can't believe him. It's not true. Be silent, General. I'll handle this. We need time. Your man Gregor was meant to meet me this morning. He wasn't there. Am I to understand that he is seeking what is lost? Gregor is pursuing his duties. That is all. I leave you to your discussions. I have not dismissed you yet. You have until this time tomorrow. He treats me like, like, I swear. He will suffer as no man has ever suffered in this world. There will be not one part of his flesh that does not scream for death by the time I have him strung up! Majesty, I beg you, let me do my job and get back to the army. You stay! Are they still in there? Yes, sir. How long do these things usually take? <laughs> they take as long as they take. You? are not being very helpful, God. What happened in there, General? Are we ready to ride? No. What do you mean? We are not going back to the army. We're not going. That's crazy. The Sultan is a frightened man. Scared for his own life. A man who is afraid to die will never be any good in a fight. Our greatest weakness is our leader. Well, I've said it now. Treason, Commander. More like common sense, General. 
You know where my loyalty lies. Indeed. Come. We need to talk. There has been too much talking. Now it's time to act. What do you say? We return to the army. Prepare for battle. We engage and destroy Maya's forces. If the Sultan cannot give the command, you must. A man would be guilty of treason to act in such a way. As you said, a man who is afraid to die is no leader. Be a leader, General. It's simple enough. If we cannot go to the army, order the army to come to us. I have a messenger saddled and ready to ride. The last time we talked, Manel, you were upset. If it was anything I said, no. then... No. No, it wasn't. Please don't concern yourself about it. But I do. I don't want you to be upset. I care about you, Manel. You have been kind to me. It was no trouble. I mean, I'm happy to take trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and I am happy that you're happy. When you smile... Oh, I'm sorry. It is not my place to talk this way. You can talk about smiles all you want, Daniel. And... kisses? What if I were to talk about kisses, Manel? <sighs> Father's home. Daniel! I need to talk to you! Coming, sir! I'm sorry, duty calls. But you didn't answer my question. If anyone saw us doing this... <sighs> be safe. General. Sit down. Your friend, Madhu. How is he? He seems well, sir. Does he have ambitions? Hard to tell. He's inclined to sit and write poetry and enjoy himself, but... Stay when... close to him. He'll be useful to us. To us, sir? That's right. I am going to save Tuman Bay. Of course, if I fail... I don't understand. You don't need to. Does Madhu trust you? It's hard to be certain. Then you need to be certain. Hello? Is someone there? Oh. You take a chance. Sometimes it pays off, and sometimes it doesn't. Hello? Hello, my lord. Sarah, they've locked me in here. They want to do something. The worst... I don't know. You have to tell them that I brought your baby back. I saved you. You have an interesting way of remembering the past. I brought you into the palace. I found your position a good one. I looked after you. How you remember things, Gregor. They want to kill me. Wait! I don't think you're in command anymore. I brought your baby as you asked. Now you owe me. Come with me. There's someone who wants to see you. What did you do, you bitch? Why did you have to kill her? What about the box? The scrolls? Have you got them? If you want to keep your hands, take them off me now. For God's sake, you're my spy. You're my slave. There are no slaves down here. You're on your own. Maybe you'll never get out. Maybe you'll wander for years, going blind in the dark eating insects before they eat you. Wait. Wait! Wait, damn you! Don't leave me. This way. Through here. 
into the light. Is it him? Yes. What's happening, Sarah? 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 This is my son. Does he speak? You had a dream this morning. What are you talking about? What dream? About your brother and something that happened a long time ago. You're mad. There was no dream. No dream. That dream has brought you to me. Before? You were at that trial. I am the son of the man whose name you couldn't remember. Basim was a good husband, a good father. He was a loyal soldier. Loyal to the Sultan, loyal to Tuman Bey. What do you want with me? We have a journey to go on. I don't have time for this. Kill me if you want, but I have better things to do. It doesn't matter. You have no choice. Everything will happen as I have seen. Just as I saw my father's death. Oh, and the moment of my death. And hers. And yours. I wanted to kill you, but I can't, because I have had a vision, and I need to tell the Sultan about it. You have to take me to him. Are you insane, boy? Here, in my hand, a gold coin. I turn my hand, and the coin will fall, and there is nothing that will stop it falling. So it is written. And so I have seen. <laughs> I should shave. I don't mind your stubble. I'm a soldier. I'm used to it. You certainly are. <laughs> That's how my father died. In bed with his lover. <laughs> Under the hand of his barber. Uh, he was Al Ghuri's brother, wasn't he? Hmm. Elder brother. Good ruler, so everyone says. Al Ghuri was obsessed with my mother. And for whatever reason, she plotted with him. Maybe she wanted more power and knew my uncle would give it to her. And they killed him. His brother and his first wife. She wasn't the first wife then. There was someone else. How? The barber. They poisoned the blade of his razor, and then... One Nick and the Sultan died in agony hours later. They were never anywhere near, and the barber was long gone. They probably killed him too, as well as the first wife and her children. Is it any surprise that I hate this place? It's a pit of snakes. No, it's that all right. I don't want to be the Sultan. I just want us to be together and for everyone to leave us alone. Somehow, I don't think that's going to happen. Not unless we make it happen. How? Run away. You are the cleverest man in Tuman Bay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Leave the whole lot of them behind. But if they caught us, you're a slave, they'd execute you. I'm all right, but I couldn't bear to lose you, Daniel. Then we'd better not get caught. No, seriously. Seriously, Madhu. I will go anywhere with you. Just say the word. The word is... I love you. Yes. I love you. In Tuman Bay, Episode 7, A Tale of Two Cities, by Mike Walker. Gregor was played by Rufus Wright. Heaven by Olivia Popica. Kadali. Matthew Marsh, Wolf, Alexander Siddig, The Frog, 
Divya Mir, Frog's mother, Serene Saba, Sarah, Nina Yindis, Ibn, Nabil El Wahhabi, Maya Zenvoy, Nadir Khan, Maddu, Danny Ashok, Daniel, Gareth Kennelly, Slave, Akin Ghazi, Al Guri, Rad Rawi, General Kulan, Christopher Fulford, Manel, Aisha Hart, Grassic, John Sessions, The Physician, Vivek Maddan, and The Boy by Darwin Brokenbro. Sound design was by Steve Bond. Music was by Sasha Putnam, and the editors were James Morgan, Anya Prashgoda, and John Owen. Tuman Bay is produced by Nadir Khan and Emma Hearn, and directed by John Dryden. Hey, I'm Josh Larson. And I'm Adam Kempinar. We're the hosts of Film Spotting. Since 2005, we've been sharing in depth movie reviews, top five lists, interviews with directors and actors, and more. Star Wars Episode 8 writer director Ryan Johnson, a former guest and guest host, called us a force for good in the universe. He hasn't called in a while. The AV Club, a fine online publication, referred to us as a podcast institution. But don't take their word for it. Check it out for yourself. New episodes every Friday. Visit us at filmspotting.net.